Welcome back to the Pod HD connectivity series. In the first video, we took a look at how you can map Variax models and tunings to individual presets on the Pod HD 500. And in the next video, we're going to be bringing the James Tyler Variax back into the picture so you can get a chance to hear what this gear was designed to do together. But in the meantime, we're going to be exploring what the DT series amplifiers will do in terms of chasing presets on Pod, just like you heard the JTV89 do in the last video. Pod HD 300, 400, and 500 all share Line 6's proprietary L6 link, which allows you to send audio and data along a single AES EBU connection between Pod HD and the DT series amps. In a pinch, you can use a traditional XLR cable, but since it's a digital connection, you probably want to use a cable specifically designed for that purpose. With the HD 500, you can connect up to four DT series amplifiers by daisy chaining them together via the L6 link in and through jacks on the back of the amps. And from the setup menu on Pod itself, or via the free edit software, you can configure this rig to run in either mono, stereo, or beyond without ever having to repatch a single cable. Like the JTV, the Bogner Design DT series amplifiers will actually chase presets you've called up on Pod HD. They'll actually automatically configure key elements like class, pento triode, and the amount of negative feedback loop to match whatever preset you've called up on Pod HD. If, for example, I call up a class A model on the Pod, the amp's going to reconfigure itself to run in class A mode. There are 16 new amp models that can be selected as either preamp only or full amp models that in combination with the DT series amps makes for a lot of options. Let's take a listen. Here I've copied over the amp and effects models used on the Lester demo from the last video to a new bank. And I've replaced the JTV89 with this lovely instrument. For this one, I'm running a Screamer model into the P75 preamp model, into a rotary drum, and then some reverb for something in the Texas vein. Here I'm taking the red comp, running it into the full Class A 30TB model before splitting the signal with Pod's internal mixer, adding some analog delay with modulation on the left side for some pretty extreme stereo imagery. This one features a slightly heavier take on how I can manipulate the stereo field. I brought up two inches of the Angel F-Ball preamp, one on each side. I've EQ'd them differently and used different cabinets. And with the addition of a chorus on the left-hand side, I've really taken advantage of the stereo field to craft a tone that is both rich and heavy. <laughs> So that concludes this video. And in the next one, we're gonna bring the JTV89 back into the picture so you can see what this gear was really designed to do together.